Hello guys, welcome back. Now in this tutorial, we are going to build another flow and in this flow, we will learn about the dy dynamic screens. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we are going to create a screen flow, which is going to display you this field to enter your city. Now, if the user has entered a city like Mumbai, then the next field that will automatically going to be displayed on the page would be the state. But if the user has entered something else, let's say they, the user has entered Delhi, then in that case, this particular state is field is not going to be displayed. So this state field is conditional and the condition is if the value of the city field that the user has entered is Mumbai, then only display the state field. Otherwise, just let the city field display. Okay, so the state field is being conditionally rendered based on the value that the user has entered in the city field. So let's go ahead and uh, do this flow, create a flow. So I'm going to go back to my Salesforce here and uh, I'll go back to the flows. So if you see here, this is the flow that I've created. And uh, now I'm going to create another flow here and I'll click on this new flow button. And the second thing is I'm going to choose the flow type as screen flow because the field that is going to be displayed to the user here. So the ch I'm going to choose free form. And the first thing is I'm going to add a screen element. And uh, here the label I'm going to say dynamic form creation. This is the label. And on this screen, I'm going to add a text field. Okay, so this is to capture the city. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, capture the city here and it's a required field. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this required checkbox. Now you can see here there is a component visibility. So here I wanted to show this field always, but you can choose any other condition as well. So if you want this city field to be only shown when a certain condition meets, then you can choose one of these options and you can write down your condition. So when you go ahead and say, okay, any condition is met, then you can, there is a place that you, where you can enter your condition. So I don't have anything right now. So I'm going to go ahead and choose always here. So this city field will be displayed always. And uh, the next, I wanted to add another text field here. And this text field is for state. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, enter state here. And automatically the API name would be populated. Now, this is not a required field because it's a dynamic field. And uh, here, the component visibility, I'm going to choose the component visibility as any condition is met or all conditions are met. So here, I'm going to choose if the user has entered the value for the city okay so you can choose if the city value equals mumbai then this is the field then it will be shown so this is going to be when the city value equals mumbai and uh, this state field will only display in that case now we go ahead and hit the done here and connect these elements and hit the save and i'm going to call this as dynamic flow example and go ahead and hit the save here and now i'm going to run this i'm not activating it i'm going to run it and now what you can see here is when the user in the city only city field is being displayed on the screen even though we have added the second text field but if you enter something like mumbai here then once you tab out automatically the state field is displayed but once you go ahead and clean it that state gets remove the state text field let's say you went enter something else you enter delhi here then that field doesn't show up but if you enter mumbai then that field shows up but if you enter mumbai in all caps then also the field doesn't show so it's a case sensitive so it has to match the exact case that you have entered so if the mumbai has to be written like this so if the user is entering something like this then the field is not going to get displayed. So let's go ahead and accommodate this scenario as well. So I'm going to go back here and I'm going to go over to my screen and I'll select the state text field. And in the component visibility, I'm going to add another condition. And uh, here I'm going to choose if the city equals Mumbai. Okay, if you write it like this, then also it should show. 
Now, and you can't have both the and condition, right? Either you're going, the user is going to write it this way or the user is going to write this way. You, the user can't have both at the same time. So I'm going to choose or here. So one of them meets, that's when the state would be displayed. So now what will happen is I'm going to go ahead and hit the save and I'm going to activate it. And I'm also going to run it now. So now here, if the user has chosen Mumbai and we've written like this, then also the state will be displayed. If the user has chosen Mumbai, then also the state would be displayed. But if the user has chosen Delhi, then that state field is not going to get displayed. So this is about the dynamic flow examples.